Here, I focus on lifelong learning as a way of drawing out contesting educational models of the good society and their intersection with digital education. As Knight et al. Citation 2023, point out, digital education has long been intimately engaged with lifelong learning, too, an entanglement which goes back, in UK policy terms, to at least the late 1990s. At that time, what was then called ICT was seen as an enabler for a utopic learning society in which access to education through life had become accessible to all through digital technology a conviction which the UK new Labour government of the time enshrined in a series of multi-million pound government initiatives, including the ultimately unsuccessful University for Industry and its online delivery platform LearnDirect, Gord, Selwyn, and Madden Citation 2003, 281. Much of the government rhetoric of the time emphasizing the accessible to all nature of content delivered online was typical of an era in which the newness of ICT seemed to open up wide possibilities for inclusive access to lifelong learning. Even at the time this was derided by some as technological utopianism, Robertson Citation 1998, 5, and critiqued by others for its failure to understand that individual's ability and willingness to engage with lifelong learning, regardless of delivery mode, is intrinsically related to long-term social, economic and educational factors, Gord, Selwyn, and Madden Citation 2003, 292. As we might expect from a university for industry, this initiative was also tightly aligned to the utilitarian skills and employability agenda, being the government's principal instrument for creating in the UK a highly trained, globally competitive workforce, sex. Nonetheless, it did have a vision of the good society embedded within it, one in which wide access to learning through life was made possible through new technology, enabling individuals to be educated throughout adulthood in order to maintain themselves as employable, therefore supporting not only individual but also societal economic flourishing. This instrumentalization of lifelong learning in the interest of human capital development and economic growth continues to dominate the 21st century policy field standing in contrast to the lifelong and adult education of the 1960s and 70s, in which access to education beyond school and university was seen as a human right, carrying a strong, emancipatory social agenda that might also be described as utopian.